and then I start dating after that. And it's like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a... Okay, today I will be reacting to a video of an interview with Amber Rose as she explains her dating life in a session, what I would like to call Women Just Don't Understand Men. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video, but first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women. It just seems like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my second channel, Who is Anthony Spade, where I do more vlogging and you get to see more of me of what I'm doing whenever I'm not making YouTube videos. All right, today I'm going to be reacting to a video of an interview with Jesse Peterson and Amber Rose. And throughout this video, Amber Rose is gonna explain her dating life. Now, before we get started with the video, I just wanna talk about when it comes to dating, women don't look at dating the same way as men in today's world. Everything is a competition. But what women are, are, are failing to realize is you're not competing with other women anymore. See, women used to compete with women whenever it was coming down to who could be the best mom or who could who, who, who can bake the best cookies, who could do feminine things. Because when women do a lot of feminine things, it helps keep their mentality safe and it helps keep them sane and happy. <clears throat> but women have taken on a trait to have them being competitive with men. In order for a woman to be competitive with a man, she has to study his nature. So she goes and buys the same cars. She listens to the same music and she does the same thing. If she got played by a guy who was sleeping around with a lot of women and she fell in love with him, the first sign of a guy falling in love with her, she's going to turn around and cheat on him with a lot of guys because that was done to her. That's the only way that she knows how to compete with a man is by abusing him the same way that she has been abused. This type of mindset has became cool amongst females. Why is it cool? Because a woman could go and sleep around with as many guys as she wants. And as long as she's just out sleeping around and not really being committed to anyone, she will be considered, you know, a whore. But the moment a woman settles down in her mind, she's like, I'm not like that anymore. Now I'm this sweet girl. You must treat me accordingly. But it doesn't work like that. When you get a bad name as a woman, it follows you. Even if you move to another city or state and try to hide your past, it will eventually come out. This is why bad girls typically go and date real beta males who have no street smarts. Right. You will notice they always pick the guy that doesn't have street smarts because men who have street smarts understand which women are for the streets. But a man who doesn't have street smarts is typically been catered and groomed by his mother and doesn't have masculine features. So Amber Rose is not understanding is that whether you want to feel like you're for the streets or not, real men as they get older men become wiser and it's easy to spot women for the streets that's why women for the streets typically end up finding younger guys that they can run all over younger beta males take advantage of them right because they don't know anything the same way that alphas dominate the beta males being a beta male is almost guaranteed for you to lose Let's get to the video. Basically, it's really what people think about you. It's not really actually what they know, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I could, you know, I went through a divorce and then I start dating after that. And it's like, well, if going out on a date with a guy makes me a slut, then that's just what I'm going to be. I don't think going out on a date makes you a slut, but having sex with different men makes you, makes you a slut. Jesse is absolutely right. It's been with the different guys that make her like that. A lot of men that do have a lot of women are only going to have a lot of women for a short period of time. That's what women are not understanding. When guys start getting a lot of attention from women, it's easy for him to stray off. It's easy for him to cheat 
because that option is not available to him as much. So when men start getting attention from women, it's always a new feeling. So men have a weakness to being with other women. When it comes to women and men, women are always getting attention from men. It's something that she doesn't have to work at. So for her to brag about, hey, it's okay for me to do this. It's like, no, it's like, that's easy for you to do that. But it's supposed to be you that rejects it. Most guys are going to dedicate their heart to one woman, but can easily, easily be distracted if more women come into his life. The only difference is women don't have to work for it. So they just take that power and abuse it. Well, what does it make you if you have sex with different women? A slut maker. A slut maker. That was a little joke at the end with the being a slut maker. But in conclusion, the more men that a woman sleeps with, the further away it takes her away from being a woman. Her spirit is gone. Once she goes to the streets, she cannot come back no matter how hard she tries. That's what guys are trying to warn women now. As we get older and red pill starts to kick in, a lot of you guys are not the same man anymore. But a lot of these women don't know what type of women to go to because the women that are teaching them to be this way is not teaching them how to be a real woman that's going to work down the future. It's a shame how many 40 year old women can't cook for their grandkids. Do you know how many grandparents now cannot cook for their grandkids because they don't know how to do it? Imagine a generation coming up. These women are not going to know what to teach the next generation. And the next generation is just going to be led by AI. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you're able to get the message behind this video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. And <clears throat> comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. <clears throat> comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. You like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. All right. Today, we're going to be talking about what to expect from Anthony Spade in the year 2021 when it comes to my channel. First of all, I'm going to let you know on my main channel, the channel you're watching now, I'm going to keep bringing that heat. We're going to get better with production. We're going to get better with our education. And we're just going to we're going to take everything up another notch on top of that. I have another channel. Who is Anthony Spade? That's going to be my vlogging channel. Right now, I'm doing it like dropping a video like once every four days. But I'm going to go in motion 2021 where you're going to be getting videos not only on this channel, but you're going to get, be getting videos on that channel. Now, that channel is very important. And the reason why that channel is so important now is because I think that my main channel, which is the channel you're watching, I give a lot of education on women. A lot of guys learn a lot. But what, what I'm going to do is something different than what's, what most teachers are going to do. I'm going to actually back up what I preach. I'm going to show you how to be on your purpose. So I'm going to vlog with me on my purpose. I'm going to show you what I do when I put my phone down for five to six hours out of the day. And I'm always doing something constructive. I'm always remodeling a house or I'm always fixing up a car or building a car. I'm always doing something artistically because I don't like being on the phone. I don't do social media. I don't have Instagram. I don't have Facebook, Snapchat. I don't have none of that other stuff that everyone has. All I do is put my videos out and you guys like them and you like what I'm saying. But if you wanna see more about me, go to Who Is Anthony Spade channel. Over there, I'm gonna be rebuilding cars. I'm rebuilding the truck right now. When I get done with that, we're going to slide into a house. You're going to see me remodel a house because I'm about to sell one of my houses. All right. You're going to watch me do all of these things. And I hope my other channel inspires you to want to get out and do something as well. That's the whole point of me doing that channel. It's easy for us to sit back and complain about women. That's the easy part. And for a lot of you guys, you've really been hurt. And I understand that. But what I want to do is I want to inspire you to build something. Me personally, I never buy a brand new car. And the reason why I never buy a brand new car is because I think you don't have a love for it. 
I see a lot of guys that go and buy a lot of cars, but they pay people to hook it up, right? Once you pay them to hook it up, it doesn't hold any sentimental value. So what I like to do when it comes to vehicles, I like to buy cars that are cheap, buy them in cash. I like to take them apart and put them together the way that I want it to be. Because if I do it that way, I get more appreciation out the car and I start to love the car. When you start to do things like that, it starts to get in your mind think clearly. At the same time, it's a good thing to relieve stress and depression. Between animals and art, that would allow a lot of stress and depression to walk out of your life. And I hope a lot of you guys get inspired to do that whenever you are going your own way. All right. When you're going your own way and you don't want to date and you're learning about women, I'm going to show you be inspired to do something else. Be inspired to hook your car up, hook your house up, do something with your environment. And that's what 2021 is what you're going to get from Anthony Spade. You're going to get a whole lot of new things. You're going to really see the other side of the Gemini that you don't see at all. I'm going to take the bar up a notch this year when it comes to the manosphere. All right. Everybody ain't sitting in their house all day just watching these videos. A lot of you guys are like, man, I want something else to do. Man, I want something else to do. Well, I always tell y'all I'm out doing something else other than watching videos. I always tell you guys, I put my phone down. And that's what we're going to be doing on the Who is Anthony Spade channel in the year 2021. All right. Come along with my journey. Hopefully you guys appreciated the year 2020. It was a big year for me. But I need 2021 to be an even bigger year. All right. And we're going to make it big. Don't create another thing before I get off. Don't start New Year's resolutions. Don't do those. Just tell yourself, I'm going to be a better person with no boundaries. That's it. Just promise yourself you're going to be a better person. And I guarantee you, your 2021 will be better than 2020 because society is aiming for you to fail. So you got to think a lot harder to keep your head above water and to keep your sanity so you're not always mad all the time. All right. It's Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both channels. Hasta la vista.